This tutorial video is going to very quickly cover the idea of how you make an outline in a word processor. And I think an outline is probably the most effective way to organize complex ideas before you write. There are other forms of pre-writes that are okay, but I think nothing beats the outline. And I would argue that on my side with that is every word processor ever. Anything you can do where you're typing stuff on a computer probably is going to have these two buttons on it, either the bullets list or the numbering list. And what you use doesn't really matter too much. Numbering, you can do some pretty complex organization with when you figure it out. Bullets is a little bit more informal. But either way, they kind of work the same to help you organize your thoughts. And I'm going to show you an example. When I click this numbering box right there, it automatically makes a number one. Now one of the key things to know is that whenever you're making an outline, you never type the numbers or little teeny letters that start off, you'll see those in further lines down, or bullet points. You never make those on your own. You never hit the space bar more than once. The only buttons you use are enter, tab, and shift, holding shift, and tapping tab. Now an outline is a way to organize ideas. The closer something is to this side of the page, the bigger that idea is. And the further things get over towards the middle, and this way, the smaller the ideas are. And those ideas are related to the thing that's above them. Here's an example. I'm going to make an outline about things I like. So I'm just going to title this at the very top, Things I Like. Go back to being oriented on the side here. Now I'm going to start with my first number. So my first big idea, things I like. I like music. I'm going to now tap Enter. Okay. Well, here I could start a new category. Other things I like. Food. Okay, that's a separate thing from music. Music and food are separate big ideas. You see that? One and two. However, I have more to say about music. I don't just like music. I don't like anything that just shows up. I like good music. So I'm going to revise this and be more specific. I like good music. Now, I know anything I might say underneath this might be controversial because good is very subjective, which means what I like may not be what you like and what may not be what you think is good. But here's what I think is good music. I'm going to tap Enter. Well, wait, no, I don't want to start another big idea. So I want to make some ideas related to good music. So I'm going to hit tab, tab, and using tab, I'm going to make my first category of good music. See how middle then little A there? This is the A category of good music. Good music is rap music. I like rap music. It's not the only good music, but I like rap music. Now I'm going to tap enter. Well, but I have some rappers I like that I kind of want to talk about. So instead of starting a B category, because a B category would be like alt country, we'll get to that in a minute, I'm going to go back up and click into my rap music category and tap the enter key. And now I'm going to tap tab so I can indent. And I'm going to write some of my favorite rappers, like Chance the Rapper. And I'll admit it, I really like Drake. I also really like... Uh, why am I spacing on names of rappers that I like? I also really like Kendrick Lamar. Is that how I spell his name? I also really like Vince Staples. Uh, and what's one more rapper I really like? Mm, I really like Danny Brown. For the record, don't go home and tell your parents that you're allowed to listen to these because I wrote about them. They're not necessarily appropriate for school. Now, under Chance the Rapper, maybe I have a favorite song of Chance the Rappers that I really like. I'm going to tap Enter and Tab, and this will be one of his songs. Maybe I'm going to do the song, All We Got. So here's an example of outlining. All We Got, the song, is related to Chance the Rapper, is related to rap music, is related to good music. And then if we look down the page, good music is lined up with food because these are two categories of things I like. And if we look down the page, A and B, rap music, 
and Alt Country are two types of music I like. So Enter Tab, I like Sturgill Simpson. I like Casey Musgraves. And I like the Drive by Truckers. And so on and so forth. So Food Tab. Now I have to think of what kind of category of food. Um, I could say duck. I like duck. I like duck confit. I like duck breast, cooked, medium, rare. So it's still a little bit pink in the middle. I like, and a little bloody. You gotta have a little bit of blood in there. And I like, let's see, what else? I really like duck curry. I go to the Thai place. I love getting duck curry. What other kind of food I like? Vegetarian. I like potato burritos. Anytime I want an added idea related to another idea above it, I just tap enter and tap tab. Now potato burritos, maybe I found a recipe for potato burrito. Boom. I'm going to add that because that is a detail related to this idea, which is related to this idea, which goes back and is related to this idea. And just as a reminder, when I'm ready to go back, so I tap enter, while I'm done with details about potato burritos, I hold the shift key on my keyboard and I tap the tab key, and I can keep tapping that tab key to go back as many times as necessary to maybe start another category of things I like, such as mountain biking. This could go on forever. However, we're not going to go on forever. We're going to stop right now.